That makes me feel old. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing it for quite a while, but no. I, and as I shared with the group too, I just it's a great memory for me to take, and it's a memory I can hang on that group and you know our 2014 team. That's a it's a it's a special tag for me. Um, and, and without question, they have probably more to do <laughs> with that number uh, than they'll ever know. But it, it's special for me for that reason and, and a great group of kids and, uh, to share it with. You guys are defending national champs off to a 6-0 start here in 2014. Uh, I, I know when I talked to you early before even the season began, uh, you said that I guess maybe one of the differences between this year's team and the last year's team, this year's team maybe not as athletic, but this, uh, this year's team also more physical. Talk about you know your viewpoint on that and then also maybe some other similarities and differences between this year's group as opposed to last year's even though it is you know fairly early on at this point yeah and, and very early um the the comparisons uh you know we we got to read the juco level we got to rebuild this every year so the, the things that we're we're working with this year we are bigger uh, and this is a, it's a football term, but we're significantly more physical than last year's group. Um, we do have athletes, and I don't worry about the level of athleticism uh, in any way, shape, or form, because we have a lot of those too. But our pin defenders uh, are bigger this year. Um, uh, our middle, uh, you know, athletic, and I, you know what? I would attribute our athleticism to our middle position, uh, which is going to take us uh, take us a ways this year. We're, but yeah, much much bigger uh, and much phys much more physical than last year's group. So how do you as a coach adjust to that? Because obviously as a coach, uh, you know, I'm sure you, you at this point, 250 win, career wins now, you kind of know what works for you and what, what kind of system you like to run. How do you as a coach adjust to, well, the, I mean, every year that's a different team, yeah. how, what adjustments have you had to make early with this group to that, that maybe I guess you wouldn't have made, you know, if you're just returning the same team? Right, not to, you know to not go into too much detail. Um, the system's tweaked every year, uh, and I have been doing this for quite a while. And I've had great teachers and mentors that have taught me that you know you can't commit to a system. Uh, as the players change, your system has to change, and our system has changed. I'm not going to say significantly. You know, we're, uh, we've got Hannah Gron back setting from last year's group, uh, and, and Hannah, without question, in my opinion, um, we're the best setter in the country. Uh, she's smart and and has a lot of experience, so my tweaking of the system is really hinged on a lot of Hannah's comfort level and, and she's comfortable with everything on a volleyball court. Uh, the kids are, are responding to her um, and she's challenged our hitters too a little bit to kind of bring some of that speed from the athletic group last year um, and some of this stuff is starting to mesh. So, you know, I, and I don't really like the saying too much, but you know, we could go as far as Hannah takes us this year and that's encouraging uh, for me. What have you really liked so far to this point? And what are you kind of, you know, hoping to see progress as the season moves moves forward here? Yeah, um, and great question too. I'll, I'll tell you what I really like about this group is they're coachable, uh, very uh, they're teachable. Um, when when we have things that we are are going into the gym or our chalk talk sessions or so to speak, um, it sticks pretty quick. Uh, we, we, there are some growing pains, and it is early, and it's early for everybody uh, in the season at this point, but uh, the growing pains aren't there for too long. Our best practice of the year yesterday, um, coming off one of our worst earlier this week. So, you know, they're resilient at this point. They're still open-minded with, there's a lot of new kids coming in that are come from great club programs and great high school programs that, you know, we ask them to come in with an open mind because there are some things with our system that we need them to do that they may not have done in the past. Um, but this group's adjusting quickly, and that's going to help us. Uh, our 6-0 and o start attributes directly to that. Finally, coaches, I talked to uh, Caitlin you know, about having that proverbial target on the back being the defending national champs. How do you as a coach kind of control that and use it to your advantage as opposed to just, hey, we, you know, this is us, this is who we are, and, and we're here to win? You know, I mean, yep. letting them get too big of an ego maybe too early especially with the fact that I mean there there have been changes in, in and there's different girls this year it's not the same team right well we just, it's a, I'm a movie quote guy and we shared from the, the fight club uh, and when Brad Pitt the rule number one with fight club is we don't talk about fight club uh, rule number two as a matter of fact we don't talk about fight club we don't talk about last year uh, and to be honest they shouldn't uh, we have six kids on a roster of 15 that had a, a lot to do with it uh, but we've got 10 kids this year that had nothing to do with it. So in all fairness to the group and our specific goals this year, 
you know, uh, defending that title is exciting. Um, celebrating last year, we were done doing that in December.